Howdy everybody, today we're installing some security cameras in our self-built camper van. We just wanted to keep a bit of a better eye either when it's on the drive or when we're away on longer trips and we are not don't happen to be in the bus. And when we are in the bus, we wanted to make sure the cameras had a private mode. The cameras we've gone for, time of buy-in, were just over 30 quid for two. We previously bought this 4G router or mobile hotspot to install in the bus. So we wanted to add that today too. Now what all that will mean is while we're on the move, we'll have a 4G hotspot, but also the Victron gear has got a connection at all times, wherever we are, hopefully in the world, so we can run updates, see what's going on, and all that good stuff. Obviously when we're parked up here, outside the house, uh, everything's sort of hunky-dory because the Wi-Fi is literally just there. But we want it to be connected at all times. Let's see what we can do with that. The 4G here is not great, I must admit. But one of the things I'm gonna do is, and one of the things I've bought is a flush mount USB power that I'm going to put on the back wall and then that's where I'm going to put the router because I figure signal strength is probably going to be better up high pointing out of the window um, rather than in the middle of the bus but we shall see we shall see but yeah this guy it's just the flush mount see it's flat on the back and I left the uh, 12 volt feed at the back there to install this. So I'm going to go do that now. So these come in like single or double packs. They're actually owned, it's like an Amazon owned company called Blink. Um, I went for them purely because they were on offer and they seem to have good reviews. So I've got, at the time, I think I got two for $29.99 or something. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, and they look quite small. Which is also good. Let's get them out and have a look. So in the box, you get the two cameras, two power supplies. So you get little DDs that turn them into USBs if you need them. I'm not going to do it like that. Or you can just run them straight from this USB. For the time being, I'm just going to plug them in. We'll look in the app and add them. To see if they'll just run through through the instructions. Shock horror, I might read the instructions to see how that comes out there. What you do is plug the bad boy in, plug that in there, ready, ready, ready. And then you're gonna get to grabbing your app. Come in here, so mine's a mini camera. Okay. And on the bottom and on the back of your, you'll have that. Create new system. Name your system. Join. Hello. Join. Great. Added. It's a little bit choppy because the signal here is poor. So uh, the 4G at the moment is literally on one bar. So it's not great. So I'm going to probably attach this to our house wi-fi while we're here the cameras themselves just attach with a couple of screws so i added the first one to the back area first as well as that 4g router it looks pretty untidy at the moment but i wanted to just check that it all works anyway we can check that the camera can connect now i can see that everything is charging up there which is brilliant but let's just check so happy days i'm just going to tidy the cables all up now um and then this bit of the install is done, which is fab. We've got a couple of cameras now. And I've got the mobile Wi-Fi installed, albeit it's not great, but we've got a hotspot now. That's the main thing. We really want to upgrade that in the future. A bit tidier. Not super tidy. Tidy enough. You can see that they're now installed. They work really well. We've been using them for about two weeks, actually. The girls had good fun testing out. So you can see here the quality of the film that it gives you. And it does record with sound as well. It also has an infrared mode that records in the evening that switches on 
absolutely automatically. And again, you can tweak those settings in the app. And if you don't want to see people seeing what you've been up to or getting undressed, there's a disarm feature too. And in the app, you can tweak all sorts of things like the sensitivity of how they're triggered, um, trigger points in your, your field of view. And they seem to work really well over that 4G as well. And the 4G out the front of our house where it's been kept for the moment is poor. Um, we only have one bar there, but we haven't dropped signal at all because it will tell you if it's done that. So all in all, impressed with him. Just gives us a little added layer of security. Obviously, um, just an added layer, but you know, for us, a little bit of extra peace of mind. And we're going to be adding a few other bits in the near future. So any tips, do let us know. Any questions, pop them down below. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care and we'll see you soon.